Hmm. Same model as in girl. True air two, air three. Why did they remove the true? Maybe it's too long of a model number. Hmm. Guys, Skyler's in the house. Hey, Skyler. How's it going? What are you doing? Don't puke on my computer. It's been a minute. Guys, this is going to be a fantastic, fun-filled video review today. We are covering the new Air 3 by Soundpeats, so that's already exciting. Uh, what's the big differences between their True Air 2 versus the Air 3s? We're gonna cover that as well. But not only are we gonna talk about these today, we're gonna talk about the winner revealed on the H1. That's right, I have a sealed, perfectly brand new box and uh, we're gonna give it away on the channel today. Apologies to all the ones that uh, didn't make it into the contest, but for the ones that did, you're gonna wanna stick around because we are going to pull your name out of a hat. So, before we get into all of this, allow me to introduce myself to the ones that are just meeting me for the first time. My biggest question to you is where have you been? I've been here all along. My name is Brandon No D. That's right, there's absolutely no D in this name. If you guys like what you've seen so far on the channel, don't be shy. It's very simple. Get your butts down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all to be reminded in all the cool content creations I make for you. And I will make a promise. That's right, we make promises here on the channel to deliver you good quality as you can see behind me and in front of you. And above all, honest reviews because that, folks, is how I like to roll on this channel. All right, with all that out of the way, on with the review. So what are the actual differences between the True Air 2 Plus and the Air 3s? Why did they drop the True? I mean, these would actually become the Air True 3 Plus, right? I don't know, maybe they just figured it was way too long of a title. So if you guys haven't seen a few reviews that are already out there on the platforms uh, of what the differences are, Brandon's here to show you and tell you. So let's go ahead and head upstairs and see what all comes in the Air 3 box. Obviously, you're going to get the Air 3 owner's manual. And uh, yeah, it's got quite a bit of information in it. And it also has different languages as well. Also coming in the box is your extremely short cable. It just seems to be the going thing here. But however, it is a USB-C and we are very happy to hear that news. Now, normally I'd bring on the ear tips, but uh, of course these are set up like the AirPod Pros. Again, no ear silicone tips. I guess the only silicone tips that I've seen so far on a AirPod style are my Studio Neos. It's the only ones I've seen so far. Otherwise, you can definitely pick up some aftermarket ones. Uh, I'm not sure for these though. I know you can for the AirPod Pros. All right, let's take a closer look at the case. And right away, guys, that is a number one feature of difference between the Air 2s and Air 3s. Size, and size matters. No pun intended, size does matter. Cause I mean, the smaller the case, the more 
pocketable it becomes. And yeah, I said it, pocketable. I made that word up, I think. I don't even know if it's in the dictionary, but I can tell you this, it's a word and I'm using it. So yeah, right off the bat guys, way different style case. Now on the Air 2s, they came up with a square case and I really like that because that was pocketable too. But uh, I mean, it's not a huge difference in size, but again, smaller is better in this case. Now taking a look around the case, you're gonna have your sync button, your green LED to show you that it is being charged. On the bottom, you're gonna have your USB-C port and obviously their logo on the top, very cool. And there we go, another question answered. Guys, this seems too easy. Differences, earbuds sit on the top on the Air 2s, earbuds sit down in on the Air 3s. Like I always say, uh, earbuds that sit on the top of the case tend to plop out more than the ones that seat down in. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and do the gravity test right now and see how they fare, if they're gonna fall out or not. Yep, I knew it. I figured they would be much better than the Air 2s because of them seating down inside. All right, let's go ahead and take them out physically since they won't come out on an accident. And right away, guys, I noticed extremely late. But again, another question answered. Look at the difference. They shortened the stems right off the bat. And they also removed the LED light that was on the Air 2s. I kind of like that. Like if you're trying to be discreet at work, you don't want a light saying, hey, look at me, I'm playing in this dude's ear, or gals. Uh, really digging the matte finish. And now the magnets have been moved to the bottom of the stems because they seat down inside the case. Now, taking a closer look at the Air 2s next to the Air 3s, not only the long stem is the difference in the LED, uh, is there any difference of the shape? You know what, guys? I'm definitely not seeing any difference as far as the earpiece goes. So that is something to keep in mind. All right, for now, we're going to put the Air 2s aside while we check out the Air 3s. First thing I want to do is put them in the ears. Let's see how easy they fit. Ooh, not bad. You know, I am starting to get a little more used to the open ear style. I've never really been a huge fan. I like the earbuds that fit deep in the canal and submerge you in the music. But nowadays it just seems like the technology is there and they're making these sound absolutely awesome with bass, even though you can hear the surroundings around you. And that's very important to some people because they want that safe feeling when they're out jogging or walking and knowing what's coming behind them. So not bad. Now, as far as the fit goes, they definitely are smaller than the Air 2s, but not a noticeable difference of feel. So I didn't really notice a difference whether I had one or the other in, but uh, you can definitely see the difference. They are definitely shorter, more compact, but they still feel like they're gonna sit right there in the ears and have no worries there. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quickly. We'll go over the specs and I'll kind of cover what the Air 3s have over the Air 2s. And that might help you on your decision because if you already own the Air 2s, should you upgrade to the Air 3s or should you just stay with the Air 2s? We're gonna find that out a little later in the video. Let me wet the whistle real quick. Oh, that's so good, okay. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and go over the specs that they both come with exactly. And then I will show you the differences, okay? So both the True Air 2s and the Air 3s are coming with 14.2 millimeter dynamic drivers. Now, those are some nice size drivers packed in such a small earbud, both having the same. Now, both state that they have dual mics, which is the CVC 8.0 noise canceling. But on the Air 3s, they're saying they have four mics. So they have two of these mics per earbud. I don't think the Air 2s do. I believe it's just the Air 3s, okay? Now, both the True Air 2s and the Air 3s are coming with the Qualcomm QCC3040 chip, aptX adaptive, and both support the Bluetooth 5.2. Fantastic. Now, I don't recall on the True Air 2s having an actual game mode for the 5.2, 
but the Air 3s definitely do have what they call a game mode, and that's triple tapping either the right or left earbud. And lastly, both sets of earbuds are true wireless, so you can use either the right or the left. All right, let's cover the differences now between the two. Right off the bat, the Air 3s have in-ear detection, which the Air 2s do not, okay? So what that means exactly is once you remove the earbud, whether it's the right or the left, it'll automatically pause. Keep in mind, however, you cannot turn that on or off because there is no app yet for Sound Pete's earbuds. They really need to get on the ball with that because a lot of these other companies are coming with their own personal app. I think every earbud company needs that for sure. Now here's where size is gonna come into a factor here. You're gonna get 17 and a half hours of playtime on the case on the Air 3s, but you'll get 25 hours on the case on the True Air 2s because they're a little bigger, right? Bigger battery but you'll get five hours on both the True Air 2s and the Air 3 earbuds themselves, okay? And lastly, a difference, you're going to get an IPX5 rating now, so you're one up. They were an IPX4. I know I said on my last review of the True Air 2s that I didn't have that information and I took a stab at it and guessed it was an IPX4. They came back at me and said, yes, it is exactly an IPX4. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. I got some smarts here and there. So yeah, you're gonna get an IPX5, which is one up on the Air 3s. It's gonna be fine for jogging, sweating, all that fun stuff, working out, uh, but still, you do not want to submerge these. That will ruin them, okay? So try to keep them from falling in the toilet. As of right now, I'd say this is a very close battle. There are very few features that are gonna make or break your decision on these is what I'm seeing so far. So let's go ahead and stick them in the ears. We're gonna do a music test, then a mic test. Then I will give you my honest opinion if I think these should be your next set of earbuds. And then we'll go ahead and give away the H1. So stick around, don't wanna miss this. All right, let's go ahead and put them in the ears. God, this is so cute. Look how small that is. So dinky, I love it. Another thing that kind of bothers me is that when you pull them out, you have to rotate them to stick them in your ears. I wish they would have had them, you know, kind of pull them out and in, but eh, it's just muscle memory that uh, takes a little time of getting used to, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Now on other earbuds, this is the part where I would show you the ANC and the transparency. These do not have either or. Obviously these are the open style. So yes, I can hear myself talking. I can hear the background ambience. That's what they're designed to be for. So on with the song, and I'm going to guess that these are going to sound just as good as the True Air 2s because they have the exact same driver in them. But we're going to find out right now. Today's song choice is obviously by the awesome platform Artlist. I am a huge fan. I love Artlist. If you are a content creator or just plain dig music, check out my page down below. It's the first thing you'll see. And don't forget to give yourself two free months added to the one year subscription. All right. Today's song title is called Come a Little Closer by the artist Lance Conrad. Here we go. That's at half. Wow. Yeah, I knew these were gonna be good. Okay, I gotta turn this up. don't understand how the hell they put that much submerged bass in an open style earbud. It just, it blows my mind. I'm telling you guys, it will blow your mind. Incredible.
I don't need... Oh, the dog's barking, so I couldn't even hear it. So yeah, open style may or may not work for you if you have the volume up. Just saying. All right. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do a mic test real quick because these are stating they have two mics per earbud, so it's supposed to be, I would guess, better on a phone call. But uh, we'll go ahead and do a mic test. Let's do that. All right, guys, you know the drill. Obviously, a professional mic but we don't want to hear that. We want to hear the sound peats and that will be right now. How do I sound? Obviously, I won't know until I'm in post. So you guys become the deciding factor. How does it sound? Would it sound good in a phone call? Would it be a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Let me jump in post real quick and I will give you my opinion on how I feel about it. Hmm. All right. Well, I was just in post. I did hear it. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking way too much bass. I sounded muffled and bassy. Now, I'm not sure if that's just my set, but man, I'm going to have to say, I, I don't know. I, that's going to be a tough one for me. Uh, will it be fine for phone calls? Of course. Yeah. You'll be able to use it for phone calls. Um, but the, the recording that I used through my phone, I wasn't that impressed, to be honest. All right, let's go on to the pros and cons, and then we'll get you guys out of here. Oh, wait, uh, that's right. We're going to draw for the winner on the H1s, too. I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. I won't forget. All right, guys, it comes down to this. Pros and cons, right? Uh, pro number one, obviously, is going to be the price that you guys haven't heard very, very budgeted set of earbuds for what you get, okay? Sound is phenomenal. The drivers that are built into these sound amazing. Gives you excellent bass, tones, mids, highs, all what you want, okay? And then the in-ear detection, that is another pro. That's pretty cool. A lot of earbuds don't come with that, so you're able to take it out of your ear and it'll automatically pause the track. However, if you don't like that feature, you will not be able to shut this off until they come up with an app. And they are talking about getting an app for their products. I just don't know when, okay? All right, as far as cons go, here's another thing I didn't mention with the True Air 2s opposed to the Air 3s. They have Qi charging, okay? You can slap this on a charger and Bob's your uncle. These, however, do not. Is it because it's such a small case? Possibly. That's the only thing I can think of because otherwise they could have added that to the Air 3s. And the last con, yes, I was complaining a little bit about the way you situate them in the case. As you pull them out, they should just pull out and go in. You got to rotate them, but it, it's really not that big of a deal. You will get used to it. That's definitely not a deal breaker by any means. Now comes the big question. If you are already an owner of the True Air 2s, should you upgrade to the new Air 3s? <sighs> I'm gonna say no, okay? I'm gonna be totally transparent with you. I'm gonna say absolutely not, because here's why. The case itself is fine. You, you got almost the same size case. Yes, these are cute and smaller, but really, there's not that big of a difference to make that change, okay? You get G charging on the True Air 2s. You do not get it on the Air 3s, right? They both have the same drivers. They both have the same Qualcomm chip. These have 25 hours on the case versus 17 and a half. They both sound amazing. Now, do you need the in-ear detection? that remains to be seen. I don't know. That's really up to you. But if I were you and I already had the True Air 2s, I would not even worry about getting the Air 3s, okay? Maybe we'll wait for the Air 4s or something like that. Um, now, if you don't already own the True Air 2s and you want this style earbud, should you go with the new Air 3s? Um, yeah, I mean, to stay up with technology, sure. I mean, they're nice and small, they're compact, they got a great sound. You're getting one more notch up on the uh, IP rating, so that's good too as well. Uh, you're getting gaming mode, that's another plus. Um, 
let's just go to the price, okay? And then maybe that'll help you guys decide. So right now, keep in mind that the True Air 2 Pluses are almost a year old, but you can still pick them up on Amazon and they are retailing at $36.99, but it gets better, you get a 10% coupon on top of that. So that's gonna drop them down a little bit for you. Versus the Air 3s that you can get right now for $49.99 retail value, but they also have a 10% coupon as well. If you don't already own the True Air 2s, pick up the Air 3s. That's my recommendation. If you already own the True Air 2s, don't worry about these. Don't feel like you got gypped. You didn't, okay? Now, keep in mind, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Soundpeats. They merely reach out to the channel, ask me to do you guys the reviews. I get to give my honest opinion, and it's that simple. That being said, I will definitely be sure to leave you an affiliate link for both the True Air 2 and the Air 3 down in my description below and where you can pick up either or. Or at that price, buy them both. Why not? All right, if you guys have any questions on today's review on these earbuds, don't hesitate. Drop me a comment down below and I will most certainly try to get back to you as soon as possible. That being said, this is the part where I would normally do a fortune cookie. But we're gonna do something a little different today, guys. This fortune cookie is actually going to be packaged with the winner of the H1. And then hopefully that person will be able to open it on camera, send it back to me, and I will repost what their fortune was. So this is how we're going to play this game, and I am so excited. This is gonna be fun, because right now, actually, as I'm making the video, I have no idea who's gonna win. So you're gonna know just as well as I'm gonna know. I'll put it together and we're gonna post this video today. Well, this evening anyway. Now for those of you that didn't get into the contest, I will be sure to post the video right up here. You can check it out if you'd like to pause this one and see how it went down. I asked for anyone that was interested in winning the Soundpeats H1 earbuds to leave me a comment and why you thought you deserved them and I would collect five of the best comments. Now that was hard because there were so many awesome comments and I wish I could have grabbed more, but I said in the video that I was going to grab five that meant something near and dear. Although they all did, I have rounded up five in no particular order. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Number one, Alex RS. Alex writes to me, you said heartwarming, so I'm going to say it. COVID took my dad's life and hospital bills took my car and financial stability. Buying even a small luxury like the H1 would be very irresponsible now that I'm trying to get back on my feet and I would very much like to have them. Alex, my heart goes out to you. It hit me very personally as I've lost my father five years ago. So I know how you're feeling, brother. So you, my friend, are entered into this contest. Contestant number two is Grace M. Marino, May Me, uh, May My. Are you from Michigan? Pretty cool. This one hit me very personal because she writes, hey, I recently started to follow you. I love the way you make the videos. You entertain, you are funny, nice, and above all, the channel is super informative. I've been watching earbud videos for I think about two months to see which one suits me best. And really, the two brands that most attract my attention are Soundpeats and Soundcore. I think it would be an opportunity for me to try the Soundpeats if I win that giveaway. In a side note, you look a little bit like my father, so if you recommend it, I will listen to you. Thanks so much for your time. Number one, you are absolutely right, Grace. Soundpeats and Soundcore are awesome choices for earbuds, as you've probably seen me say. And above all, if I look like your father and you're going to listen to me, could you talk to my 16-year-old daughter? Because that's not how it works. Just saying. Congratulations. You, my dear, are number two in this contest. Contestant number three, come on down. Jordan Clark. That's right. Jordan Clark writes, these are my dream earbuds and would be the happiest person ever if I managed to get my hands on a pair of these. I would never be off of them. I'm autistic. So I spend a lot of my time on my phone watching films and podcasts and listening to music. These would be ideal. I live alone and can't afford stuff like this. And I don't have family even being considered for this amazing prize. I would be grateful. Well, guess what, Jordan? You made it to number three. You, my friend, are in the contest. Good luck. 
And number four contestant, come on down, Lindsay's Thoughts. That's right, she writes, hey there, Brandon. Great video as always. I'd like to dance and jam just like you with these earbuds. A good set of buds goes a long way. Really feeling the music. Keep up the great work. Well, guess what, Lindsay? Hopefully, you will be boogieing to these headphones in no time. Congratulations, you are contestant number four. And before we get to the fifth and final contestant, I would like to give a shout out to Small Penis Sari. He writes in, I want the H1s just because I want them. Now give them here. Nice try, Small. Not a chance. All right, are you ready for contestant number five? The fifth and final contestant is... Tanny N, that's right, Tanny N writes, lost my spouse a year ago this month, not sure if I deserve anything. All I know is that music has helped keep me sane over the last year and I will continue to do so. My heart goes out to you, Tanny, for sure. It's gotta be traumatic to lose a spouse. Best of luck to you. So we have our five contestants. I have rolled up five names. All five names are right there in the hand. I have myself a hat. It's a pretty cool hat. It's actually my pork pie. So we're gonna go ahead and drop all five names into the hat. And I was really gonna have my daughter pick for us today, but she is feeling terrible. Yeah, yeah, she's under the weather. So she's not up for it. So I guess we're just gonna have to do it. So here we go, guys. Are you ready? We've got it all mixed up. I have no idea who's who. We're just gonna go ahead and turn away. First one I grab, here we go, we got it. Can we get a drum roll? Let's drum roll it. <sighs> Let's drum roll it. Here we go, unrolling it. And the winner is... Got it all out. Ladies and gentlemen, who oh, it is Grace M. Monroe May Me. May Me, May Michigan, maybe? That's right, it is Grace. Congratulations, my dear. You are the winner of the new H1s. I hope you enjoy them. Now, I can leave them sealed in the box or I can sign them personally for you with the amount of subscribers. I can do that for you as well. Grace, be sure to hit me up on my Instagram or email. We'll get in touch and I will get these out to you as soon as possible. Well, guys, that is the end of the review. Um, she's also going to get the fortune cookie sent with the earbuds. Hopefully, you'll be able to open up the fortune cookie using your phone and record it, send it back to me, and we'll post it on one of my videos. We'll make you famous. If you guys enjoyed what you saw so far, if you've hung out with me, I commend you for it. I also recommend shrinks. I got a few numbers. Other than that, don't forget to like the video, share as it helps my channel grow tremendously. And you guys know I'll be seeing you sooner than you think.